Yes, well, today began with the ASEAN Plus Three meeting. That's ASEAN Plus China, Japan, and South Korea, or APT. Now, the East Asian countries, we know, don't always have the most cordial of relations, but the opening speeches by the leaders of the three East Asian countries were extremely positive and upbeat about cooperation, not only cooperation between the East Asian countries and ASEAN, which is a very important relationship in terms of trade and investment, but really the cordial and uh, good cooperation between the three countries and ASEAN as part of this grouping. So that was very upbeat. Now, the first ASEAN China sum, uh, ASEAN Plus Three Summit happened back in 1997 during the Asian financial crisis. And the leaders f mentioned how the grouping had helped the region and these countries navigate through that crisis, navigate through the global financial crisis, navigate through COVID-19, and now are helping to navigate through the current crisis involving the conflict in Ukraine. And at least one of the leaders did talk about that and the impact and implications of that conflict on food inflation and on supply chains. Premier Li Keqiang, meanwhile, talked about how the cooperation um, of this grouping had really helped maintain stability throughout the region and is also keeping global growth on track as well. Over the past 25 years, the ASEAN plus three countries have all enjoyed rapid development and continuous progress thanks to peace and stability in our region. Regional peace and stability have enabled rapid economic growth in East Asia and enabled East Asia to become one of the major engines for global growth. It is imperative for us to continue to maintain regional peace and stability, not only for regional development and the well-being of our peoples, but also for world peace, stability, development and prosperity.